Do you know me? I'm a world famous radio announcer, and I've generously put aside the next 43 seconds to talk to you face to face about a film that we thought had to be made. Because being enormously famous, handsome, debonair, very talented, <coughs> yeah, okay. I get kids coming up to me all the time in the street, kids as young as five and six, they come up to me and they say, Phil, how the fuck can I get into radio? I forgot to do that, and I forgot to do that. Did I say At last, the film of the booklet, the film that answers the questions other films daren't even ask without written permission from a chemist, the film that unquestionably asks for answers without first questioning the need to answer a question that remains to be answered beyond question without even asking, the film based on the pamphlet even more popular than aluminium pipe fittings and you, the booklet that thousands... I'm standing outside Brisbane's most popular radio station, FM 104. And if you're a young person trying to get into the radio industry and you're prepared to be enthusiastic and work your balls off, you'll find that the door here is always open. Shit! FM 104 are always looking for talented young people to fill the many and demanding positions on the station. Right now, Australia has more radio receivers than people, and when it comes to the finest in sound, no one is more committed than FM 104. To create that sound requires a team of professionals. And visiting FM 104, uh, the first Wilson, person you'll meet is the receptionist. The receptionist, the guardian of the station's front line. It's from this vital area that first impressions are gained. And it's here that public relations really begin. <sighs> Mr. Carnegie, your client is ready to see you. But what about radio announcing? Where do these announcers come from? Coles? Target? No. Here, would-be announcers learn the all-important skills needed for on-air work. Wait a second, man. What do you think the teacher's going to look like this year? Guild tutors pass on the secrets of the trade. Announcing is a consummate skill that requires someone with rare talents and unusual habits. Fuck off, go on, get out of here. He must be able to cope with any situation. I'm warning you, I've had enough of your kind. And demonstrate the key ingredient of positive attitude. Hello? Hello? <laughs> the programmer is the person who gives the station its sound. He receives the new music arriving on station, assesses it, and blends it together to create a final product that is well thought out and distinctive. <laughs> the programmer must always think of the large audience sitting at home, assessing the station's output themselves. 
Then there's the sales staff. Good radio sales people are consultants to their clients. They're aware of the client's company and needs. And will advise him on how best to spend his money. Perhaps the mark of a good sales rep is how well they plan their day. Visiting clients is involved to work and requires a tight schedule. Plastic card things. Crowbar? Working alongside sales is the writer. He's the person with funnier posters on his wall than the guy next door. The salesperson will feed the writer a concise brief, which the writer will turn into a 30 second statement. <laughs> to do this, he will consult his giant-sized reservoir of ideas, a bottomless pit of creative concepts. From this, he'll create the commercial to get the attention of the listener and arouse his desire to buy. Hey, you! Yes! You, fuckwit! Brian Squad of 23 Brunswick Street. Don't touch that dial or I'll rip your balls off. Now, now grab your television. Yes, that's right, your television. Now take it now. Now throw it out the window. That's it. Right. Okay. Now, looking for a new television. Come to Chandler's. We've got the biggest range in the whole world with televisions of every shape and size imaginable. Yes, we've got... The Promotions Department, a frenzied centre of activity, where the special events are planned. Often, split-second timing is required for a happening to have the maximum effect. Basically, promotions fall into three categories. Audience promotions. Yeah, the first 100 people at the uh, rock shop tomorrow will receive a free ticket to the last star fighter. Sales promotion. And the first 100 sales people at the rock shop will receive a free ticket to the last star fighter. And industry promotions. And the first 100 record company reps will get a free ticket to the last the star fighter. The schedules fighter. department. The clearing house of the station. Schedules also provide the announcer with a minute-by-minute -minute log. <laughs> Working alongside schedules is traffic. To work in the newsroom, you have to be well balanced. You need to respect the privacy of the individual and to use discretion where necessary. Okay, three, two, one. The man who sexually attacked a penguin in downtown Brisbane last week has won his bid to keep his identity anonymous. He's Mr. William Thomas of 13 Fig Tree Pocket Road, phone 614 3218 after 6 p.m. One of the most essential jobs is that of administration. In administration, you make the big decisions and take chances. You pissed off your bastards there. Fuck off. What are you doing here? Come on, get out of there. Leave me alone, you mongrels. Come on. Mate. 
the accountant. On payday, she's the most important person on station. The production department, home of the Wizard of the Wireless. The magic Merlin who gives the script life with his electronic wizardry. The button-crunching, tape-punching introvert in his electronic lair. Turning magic into miracles and vice versa. Summoning up a thunderstorm or passing sports car right there in the studio. Then there's the technician, working away at perfecting the station sound. This is the era of compact disc sound. And our technician uses these developments to the fullest. He must maintain a very close eye on the station's equipment, using his skill to make adjustments where necessary. I work at my machine I don't have time to think I don't have time to dream I don't have time for anything But work at my machine Enough to buy our food Enough to pay the rent Enough to get the kids to school And all our money spent And it goes I work at my machine Covered all aspects of radio, everything that uh, hey, you hey, need hey, to know. Hey, what about the manager? <laughs> You'd never know if we left him out. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I guess we better talk about the manager for a couple of seconds. One of the most important jobs, <coughs> um, uh, the most important job, manager. Gone are the days of the Ivory Tower, a series of front men and long-standing appointments. Radio's a people's business, and these days, if you want to speak to the manager, you can, frankly and without fear. The manager is the company's figurehead, representing the station in the community and at special events. He's the public face of FM 104. The film of the book of the station. And just before I sum up, I'd like to thank our loyal crew who have stuck with me throughout the making. Where are you going? Who have stuck with me throughout the... Uh... No, 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 hang on. Uh, who have stuck with me without, throughout the making of this uh, very difficult to make and uh, very expensive production. Uh... And I'd like... Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh... Uh, look, so if, if you're trying to get into the radio industry, uh, either as a uh, as an engineer or uh, yes, in programs or isn't it? Ah, now start to. Excuse me. Uh, Enthusiastic and ready to work, uh, there's one place at the top of Queen Street where the door is always open. If you'd like a job in radio and you're 5 feet 10, blonde and a potential Miss Queensland, get hold of a copy of this booklet from Kelvin in his RX-7 outside the underground this Friday night, 10.30.